An Alberta study in the Canadian Medical Association Journal shows there were fewer stroke patients during the first year of the COVID-19 pandemic, but a higher number of stroke-related deaths. Dr. Aravind Ganesh at the University of Calgary says the study found a decline both in the number of people presenting with strokes and those receiving stroke treatment. He says the numbers didn't improve in later waves of the pandemic. Dr. Ganesh says the study was done over worries that there was a trend, like those in other countries, of people not seeking emergency care during the pandemic. Joining us now to give us a deeper understanding of this trend is Dr. Abhishek Rout, Medical Director at Apple Tree Medical Group. Dr. Rout, welcome back to Forum Daily. Great to be here. So what would you say are the main takeaways of this study? Well, in this study, researchers looked at the data for about 19,000 Alberta patients from January 2016 uh, to February 2020, and then another 5,000 patients during the first year of the pandemic. Uh, what they found was in the first wave of the pandemic, they saw a significant decline in the number of people who presented with acute ischemic stroke, which is strokes because of it, blood clots to the brain. Along with that, they found that use of stroke therapies also declined by about the same amount. Uh, overall, the researchers found that the number of patients with stroke symptoms did not return to pre-pandemic levels after the first wave in spring of 2020. So I think the study and the research asks an important question. Did the necessary public health restrictions that we had implemented as a result of the pandemic result in some unintended consequences of dissuading people from attending the hospital for emergencies like stroke and heart disease? That's really interesting, Dr. Rout. So what does this mean for patients in Alberta who are maybe at risk of stroke or stroke-related deaths? Yeah, so the researchers were able to look at what happened to those patients by studying how people died due to strokes. They found that those out of hospital uh, ended up having significant rises in deaths uh, during the periods of the pandemic. The results were actually similar in hospitals during the second wave of the pandemic and the third wave of the pandemic, more people ended up dying in hospital who had strokes. So the study looked at population level data, so it's not exactly clear why people decided not to seek treatment. But what it means for Albertans is that not seeking emergency care for possible stroke related symptoms would have resulted in more morbidity and more mortality, which could have prevented, uh, potentially been prevented. And the study was conducted around concerns of a trend of fewer people seeking emergency care during the pandemic. Uh, can, can you say that you've noted this across Canada, Dr. Rout? Yes, I think what we've seen is that uh, obviously Canadians have been advised to go to the emergency departments if they need urgent care. But from March 2020 to June 2021, there were approximately on average 9,000 fewer emergency department visits per day across Canada compared to the pre-pandemic level. So we're seeing quite a bit of a drop in multiple areas there. Definitely some concerning information there, Dr. Rao. Uh, what other medical conditions can potentially go untreated or undiagnosed during the pandemic? Yeah, so that's a difficult one because what we're seeing is emergency department visits for almost all conditions were down about 22% uh, below pre-pandemic levels in that first year. So less urgent and non-urgent visits had decreased the most to about 28%. Uh, what we saw is children and youth had the largest decrease in emergency department visits. Uh, visits for children from zero to four decreased by almost 50% per month compared to pre-pandemic. Uh, and of course, there were certainly other things that we do worry about, many diseases, including cancers, that may have been undiagnosed during the pandemic. All right, Dr. Rao, just about a minute and a half left here, but let's talk solutions. Uh, what do you think needs to be done to address this hospital avoidance, both during and following the pandemic? I think this is tough because many of us have almost been hardwired into many types of avoidance, uh, thanks to the so many years of the pandemic. But the essential thing here is to focus on educating the patient on the importance of going to the emergency department when they're concerned about something serious. I think we all need to be comfortable, again, to reach out to our physician or healthcare provider uh, and talk about the preventative diseases, mammograms, pap tests, and FIT tests for our screenings. And considering we're talking about strokes for this segment, uh, what are the most common symptoms of stroke and when should Canadians consider seeing a doctor? Uh, sudden numbness, confusion, trouble seeing, trouble walking or dizziness, and of course, sudden severe headache of unknown cause. If we have any of these symptoms, the best thing to do is to call 911 immediately. Definitely. All right, Dr. Rao, thank you again for joining us today for our weekly medical segment. Thanks for having me.